What's up, bro? Doug here. Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to connect your Google Calendar and your Zoom to your Go High Level account. I watched a whole bunch of tutorials on this and they were missing out on like the beginning part. Luckily, someone had come, one of the people had put it in their comments. I just wanted to make a full video on it to help you guys out. So, starting off, if you're a solopreneur, this will be helpful for you too. Or if you have employees, this, this will work for you too. Starting at the agency dashboard, so we all have the same, you know, level playing field, we're going to go to our sub account, which is our business. And then we're going to go to our settings. From here, you should have your business profile. And a lot of tutorials say you're supposed to have like a profile here, but you will not have that unless you're a member of your staff. So let's go to my staff. Let's add employee and we're going to add ourself. Oh, and you can put a signature if you want. And you can leave the rest of this blank, but just to go through it, user permissions, you should keep this the same because you are the user. Oh, actually one you should change is the roles to admin. I don't know if this changes anything or if you're really going to use it, but uh, you probably don't need it, but I just do it. Call, voice, email, settings. You can set this up yourself. I'm going to do this at a later time. User availability. We're about to do this in it. And from my experience, even if you do this, you still have to connect everything. So skip that. And you can't use this calendar configuration because you need to connect your Google account, which is what we're going to do. So hit save. Now at this point, you have created a new employee or yourself as the employee. And now you need to go over and log in as an employee. So for me, I'm going to just go to like, you know, a different browser. Let me log in, go to go high level. And so, all right, it's going to ask you for a verification. For some reason, it doesn't work the first time. It might work the first time for you, but for me, it hasn't worked in the first time. So I just have to send it again. All right, so now we're in the employee view and you can tell because we have our little employee icon that I put as well as we're not, there's no agency view here, it's just the sub account. So from here, we wanna go to calendars and settings, calendar settings. This is already the ones I had in the sub, in the sub account when we were in the agency view. So at this point, we're ready to start setting up our connections. So go to connections and you see as an employee, you don't have your Google Calendar or your Zoom connected. And this is what we really wanna set up. So just go ahead and, so this is what you would see when you log in, if you've never connected to anything, your strap would also say connect in the blue. So you sign in with Google, log into your account, I'm gonna log into my Doug at Busy Geek, right? Give it all, give, give Lee Connector access to everything, hit allow. I don't have my location set up connected to this because I'm online, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. So now it says connected. We go back to our calendar connections and we can see we're greenlit, active. This lets us know that our Google Calendar is connected to our email. Now we're gonna do the same thing for Zoom. Log in, I have it connected to my, my Gmail. And bam, connected. So now we both have both of them connected. Now how do we set it up in the actual calendar? So from here, first, what I like to do is we're going to create a group. So right here, you go back to calendars and you can create a group. Now this group is basically like a home for all your calendars. So your 15 minute discovery, your one-on-one -on -one sessions, your maybe 45 minute or your masterclass, you can put all those calendars in like kind of the same page, similar to how Calendly lets you do it. So we're going to create a group here. I'm just call this Doug's calendars, group of calendars, I'll say. Doug calendars. All right. So now we created our group to house our calendars in, and we're going to now create our first calendar. So you get options here collective, unassigned, round robin. This is coming soon. Unassigned just doesn't allow you to book set a user. So don't use this. Do not use unassigned. Use round robin booking. And we get this appointment distribution where you can set individual employees, or in this case, ourselves. So select user. Doug the Busy Geek. Uh, this medium, low, high doesn't really matter for this at least. And then where this says custom, we want to click our Zoom or Google Meet now that we have our Google connected. But this tutorial, we're using Zoom. So click your Zoom and that takes care of the meeting location. You can name this. We're just going to name this Demo Calendar Test and Demo Calendar. So this URL. Oh, it's already being used. One. All right. Save and continue. And from here, you set all your hours. So save and continue. And from here, you can do a custom form. I'll leave this blank for now. 
for notifications though this so acknowledgement through email so after they actually book with you you should set this up so that the contact gets a confirmation you get a confirmation or the signed user gets a confirmation and i like to put the business email or whatever email that you're using for your company to also get the notification but you don't have to if you don't want to and hit complete and bam our calendar is created all right so now we have our calendar set up and we have to add it to the group so we're going to click these three dots click move to group and we're going to put it under does calendar because it's only group this is a notification letting you know that if you had used this link before adding it to a group that link no longer works and we'll go to our group we can see our calendar is added and I'm gonna, now we need to test it. So I'm going to show you two ways to test this. You can test the group and you can test the calendar itself. So the group, so I'm going to show you the Calendly like page. So we're going to copy the schedule link. We're going to go to a completely different browser. And we're going to put it in. So here you can see this is our test calendar. If you click it, it takes you to the calendar. If you go back, so these are all the calendars. I just put group of calendars, but these are all the calendars you can say. 15 minute discovery call, hour session, demo, whatever. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you want to just send them the original link or you just want to test the link itself, you would just go here, copy the schedule link, go back to the separate browser, and paste it in there, and it takes them straight to the demo calendar that you want. From here, we make sure the time zone is correct, right? And then we're going to pick a day. I'm going to just pick tomorrow at uh, 8 a.m., right? Continue. Put... Mm -hmm. All right, cool schedule the meeting and now that your meeting has been scheduled if you're logged in to go hello when you have the not notifications on you're going to get this but now it's been scheduled so now here you go you have your zoom integrated dynamic zoom integrated with your time for tomorrow so that now the client or prospect can add it to their google calendar so if they add it to their google calendar this is what they see at least okay so they're going to see the locations are going to have your Zoom link in it as well as their information. And then you have your, your rescheduling, but your Zoom link is officially in and they can just save it and it goes to their calendar. Now they have it. And click the Zoom link and go to your meeting. On the flip side, if we go to your employee account, they get a notification saying, oh, somebody Doug Moore booked an appointment. They go to their personal calendar Friday at 8 a.m. and they get the same information. They can copy this link and jump on the call.